So the solution really is to separate out the view in the model. If we can make it so that we have our view completely separate from our model, our model being the data and business logic, then what happens is if our model changes, if our business logic changes, we have to make a small change to our view, but it's a very clear change. So our view can be updated to reflect that model. And if we want to have a different type of view or change our view, the view is just a presentation of the data that exists from the model so we can make that change easier. So struts is really an architecture that's helping us do this. It's helping us separate our view from our model and not have them so tightly bound like we did in servlets and JSPs. So here's some of the basic features that struts 2 provides for you. As we said before, it's an MVC framework, which is model view controller. And we're going to cover model view controller in a little bit here. It's a set of tags. So it can use JSPs. And if you use the JSP technology, it allows you to have some predefined tags that work with struts. So you don't have to try and define all this data binding and type of things yourself. You can basically use the views a lot easier. It has some Ajax support so that you don't have to try and figure this out all by yourself as well. It has support for validation. So again, this is a common thing that you have to do in every web application, but this framework is going to give you something that you can reuse and understand in multiple web applications. It's designed to be testable, and this is really critical because the main logic inside of your application should be testable. You shouldn't have to go through all these hoops of creating all these different mock objects and mocking HTTP sessions and context in order to test your code. So it's testable and it's testable by being non-intrusive. So it uses what's called POJOs or plain old Java objects. You don't have to have a very strict definition of how your business logic is laid out. And we'll see a little bit more about this later in the course, but basically you don't have to do anything really special in order to create your business logic inside of your struts application. It also supports quite a few different types of plugins. It's a plugin architecture, and it's really based off of defaults and conventions. It makes it so that the configuration is minimal, and you can use a completely convention-based configuration and struts if you want to, which makes things a lot simpler. 